power system analysis under the stability analysis in that today we are going to discuss about the critical clearing angle so the critical clearing angle denoted as the del cc is defined as the maximum change in the load angle curve or a power angle curve before clearing the fault without the loss of synchronism when the fault occurs in the system the load angle curve begin to increase and the system become unstable so the angle at which the fault is cleared and the system becomes stable is called the critical clearing angle so the point at which the system becomes stable after the fault we call that point as a critical clearing angle denoted as del cc so consider a single mission infinite bus system smib system operating in a steady state with the torque angle del not so a single generator which is connected to a infinite bus bar through the transmission line the transmission line having a line impedance and we assume that the fault occurs at this particular point f okay and this whole system we call it as a single mission connected to a infinite bus system but this in, in the infinite bus the voltage magnitude and angle are fixed so let a three phase fault occurs at the point f uh, which shown in the previous diagram at that particular point uh, the electrical power will be equal to zero so at the beginning the power starts to increase as the del increases and it reaches at point a at this particular point we assume that the fault occurs so the electrical power equal to zero so the operating point moves from this a point to b point so at this particular point the angle will be del not so this means the power transfer to the infinite bus bar from the generator is zero since the fault occurs at point f now the operating point further moves from point b to point c as this del increases from del not to del c so let the fault be a transient in nature so the fault is cleared by opening the circuit breaker so we need to take necessary action to open the circuit breaker to clear the fault so at point c the fault is cleared so the angle will be del c and the time at this particular point will be tc so we call that del c as a clearing angle and tc as clearing time after the fault is cleared the operating point moves from this point c to point d so sudden increase and it catches the power angle curve at point d and then from point d to point e at this particular region the rotor starts to decelerate so for transient state if angle del 1 can be decided such that the stable condition the area a1 is equal to area a2 so this is a equal area criterion concept so a1 equal to a2 then the system is stable we can decide this del 1 angle it is assumed that the fault is cleared at the del c but if the fault clearing is delayed then this angle del 1 continue to increase to a upper limit we call that as del max somewhere over here so that means the area a2 is increasing so the system become unstable so we'll see that condition for this situation the fault would have been cleared at del cc but it takes more time to clear and there is a delay occur so the del keep on increasing and it reaches the value of del max so in this condition your area a2 is less than area a1 so under this condition we call this system is a unstable system so from the diagram we get del max will be equal to so we are going to find the maximum angle del so for that we are considering the whole length of 0 to pi okay, and we need this del max so for that del max equal to the total pi minus this region so this region that is del max to pi so this del max to pi is equal to this 0 to del not this both lengths are same so you can substitute del max equal to total length pi minus this del not that gives you del max and take this as a first equation and under steady state this del equal to del not and the electrical power equal to mechanical power pm equal to pe and it is constant so there is no variation and the mechanical power equal to electrical power that will be equal to p max sin del not and this is your second equation so the accelerating power equal to mechanical power minus electrical power when a three phase fault occurs the electrical power will be equal to zero so the acceleration power equal to the mechanical power that will be equal to constant so that is your equation 4 so the acceleration area a1 can be evaluated 
by integrating the accelerating power from del naught to del c so this area you need to find so for that a1 equal to integration of del naught to del c c mechanical power pm into d del since the electrical power is zero at this region so integrating that so it, you will get pm into del the upper limit minus lower limit so it will be a1 equal to pm into del cc minus del naught so take this as fifth equation so now when the power feeding is resumed after the fault so once once the fault is cleared at uh, del cc the power is resumed so the electrical power starts to increase so electrical power will be equal to p max sin del and the accelerating power equal to electrical power minus mechanical power so electrical power is p max sin del minus this mechanical power pm so take this as sixth equation and now the decelerating area a2 can be evaluated by integrating this uh, by integrating this equation 6 from del cc to del max so this is this is where the area a2 lies and uh, a2 equal to integration of del cc to del max p max sin del minus pm into d del so integrating this term so p max sin del sin del integration is minus cos del minus pm into the del factor while integrating the constant term, you will be getting PM into del. Applying the upper and lower limit. So, so upper limit minus lower limit. So, you are applying minus P max cos del max minus PM into del max minus of minus get plus. So, P max cos del CC plus PM del CC. So, taking P max as common, you will be getting two terms cos del CC minus cos del max and PM as common, two terms del max minus del CC. Take this as seventh equation. So now for a stable system, A1 is equal to A2, the area 1 equal to A2. So just equate these two areas, A1 is equal to A2. So this is A2 and this is A1. So A1 equal to A2. Now simplifying this, multiply inside the bracket. So P max into cos del C equal to PM del C minus PM del naught and bring all the remaining term to the right hand side uh, p max cos del max this side and uh, similarly pm del max this side similarly p pm del cc this side so this uh, pm del cc and minus pm del cc will get cancelled so the remaining term will be like this take pm as common del max minus del naught so these two terms pm and pm and uh, p max cos del max so we need uh, del cc so cos del cc equal to bring this p max to the denominator of the right hand side so pm divided by p max into del max minus del naught plus cos del max in the second term the p max get cancelled del cc equal to cos inverse of pm by p max into del max minus del naught plus cos of del max and where this del cc is critical clearing angle